In this short video, we'll take a look at how to export a project to a project package so that it can be shared with another user. The process for creating a project package from a project is pretty simple. First, we need to go to the share ribbon, the package group, and the very first tool on the ribbon, new project package. This will open up a pane on the right hand side of the screen. We have a few different options here. First of all, we can either upload the package to an ArcGIS online account or save it to a local file. Most of the time I'm going to save package to a file and that's what I'm going to do here. Then we can choose a location and name for the package. I'll go ahead and save this in the Callaway Plow Routes folder where I have the map currently. And we'll just call this Callaway Plow Routes Package. As you can see, an Arc Pro Project Package takes the file extension .ppkx. That's different from the .aprx file extension, which is just used for a project. Once we've got the name in there, we can hit this Analyze button to see if there are any errors. And it looks like we do have an error here. This red X means that the tool isn't going to run until this error is corrected. So in this case, we see geoprocessing history items with errors cannot be included in the package. That's okay, we don't need geoprocessing history for this share. So I'll just go ahead and uncheck include history items here and rerun the analyze. And we can see we've corrected that error. I'll now go ahead and hit the package button. Can see it needs to be saved before creating the project package that's all right and with our package now created let's go ahead and close out of arc pro and open the package back up to make sure everything's working i'll put a brief cut in here while i find the package in my file explorer And here we can see the PPKX has appeared in the folder under Callaway Plow Routes. Let's double click it to open it. And we can see that the PPKX has now opened and I can see the layout that I had just before. All the data has ported through because it was included in the .PPKX, unlike if you just share a .APRX where it won't include the data. In the next video, we'll go ahead and get started with part two of this video series with some cartography demonstrations that I encourage you to follow along with on your own.